In today's video, I'm going to talk about the five reasons why I think Lumion is the best software for real-time rendering for garden designers and landscape architects. My name is Katerina, I'm a garden designer, and I'll see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools and today I'm going to give you five reasons why I think Lumion is the best software for renderings for garden designers and landscape architects or anyone really doing outdoor projects and thinking about planting and vegetation and how to present your ideas to your clients. So first of all, and one of the most important one when I think you just really invest in your time trying to learn a new software is the ease of use, okay? It's really simple, it's drag and drop, most of the things except materials, um, but it's really, really simple to use. Really, we have icons, you have thumbnails, every time you want to add uh, a vegetation, you just drag and drop, or you can just click it and click in your model where you want that vegetation. You have loads and loads of model but what I think it's really important it's that the learning curve is really simple and it's really um, easy and it really um, I think even for the most um, afraid of uh, computers or you know you can have a really fun time because you're seeing it straight away the results when you're doing your renderings when you're dropping things when you're dropping vegetation you have that straight away um, effect and you start getting really excited when you're looking in the images and you start seeing the planting and all this stuff of course there's this whole preparation before you know but uh, if you want to learn a little bit more i have a course on this uh, for specifically for garden designers and landscapers um, but it's really easy to actually just drop your vegetation and have that uh, straight away that effect of the plants you're choosing how they're gonna uh, play around in the garden and the scale etc so ease of use is learning curve really um, not difficult at all uh, is one of the my first reasons why Lumion is such a great program reason number two is the vegetation available of course you can and I have videos about it you can upload all these amazing uh, models of plants from like uh, websites like Max Tree or Glow Plants but you have uh, in Lumion amazing library by default okay so let's just quickly show you in the nature tab you have all these plants uh, available you know a lot of trees um, conifers palm trees leafless trees even but you have grasses you have this all amazing plants i'm not sure the number right now but you have a lot of plants of course some of the models could be updated you have really old uh, models here and they're not that good quality but most of them they're going to do a really good job and i have uh, as well some some more generic shrubbery plant that sometimes is really good to fill up in the background um, but you have an amazing um, default uh, library in terms of planting in terms of vegetation and this comparing with the other softwares that they are much more uh, focused on the architecture and material side of things not so much in terms of your landscaper or a garden designer another thing i really like in terms of vegetation is that you have 3d grass okay so, and this is you can find it in the in the materials tab and if you go in the colors okay i'm gonna here just show you you have a 3d grass and you have wild grass you have even with patterns circular grass so you know you can see row grass um so you can see how is much more focused for uh, people that are you um, working with the landscape and with the outdoors not just the architecture okay reason number three is the materials you have an amazing library of materials you can upload your own materials and i'm just going to show you quickly here some uh some uh, um for example some stone walling uh, i'm just going to sh show you here in the outdoor tab let me just quickly 
add this uh, material so this is an added material but you can see the relief already but you have some water just let me show you here some really good ones and don't forget if you see the in the library this like polygon they are higher quality okay so you can see the first ones this is some of the oldest materials uh, they are not bad but they are not as good quality as some of the other ones um, like the polygon materials here and they are amazing and when you actually do the rendering you can't see so much right now but when you actually do the rendering the relief it's an amazing amazing quality in terms of uh, rendering what I like to do especially uh, when it comes to wood or stone is you actually double click and you have all the settings that you can play around in your Lumion um, program uh, but what I like to do is as well is actually you, you select here and you weather it a little bit, you know, just as, don't go too much, but just the little detail and as well as uh, the edges, you know, because you don't have straight edges when you actually in the real world. So just a little thing. Don't forget, sometimes less is more when it comes to here to the effects, but you have all these things that you can play around with. And of course, you can add your own materials from websites like Polygon or other websites. OK, so that's my reason number three. Reason number four is the lighting visualizations. Um, so lighting is just one of the things that really sh brightens up the garden in the at night, you know, really shows up. Um, and it's an amazing way to show to your clients your ideas in terms of lighting, okay? You're not just talking about plants, you're talking about lighting as well and how they're going to leave their gardens at night. So, what we have here is uh, um, a lot of uh, possibilities in terms of light. You can add, you can upload your own um, lighting, uh, but this is a more professional. This, If you really know what you're talking about, you can add your uh, IAS uh, settings for your lighting, but you have these amazing lights. And one I really like to use is the line light to just mimic the like LED strips kind of uh, thing, okay? So let me just quickly show you here. You can add the lighting, you can uh, turn it around, okay? You have here the rotation uh, that you can be more specific. If you press shift, you can go a little bit slower. Just make sure that's in line there with the pull. And after you can go wide as you want, okay? Let me just go here a little bit. You can play around with the length like here as well okay and you can see that straight away this is getting pretty pretty cool let me just do this here just to length a little bit tighten it up and after i go here just move it around and you're gonna s you you can see this um you're not gonna see so much here now but you, this effect the lighting effects um, in here in Lumion, they are really cool when you do your rendering. Of course, you can add uh, other types of lighting. Like, for example, if you want a focal point for a tree, let's add here. Uh, of By default, they're always putting, pointing down. But what you can do here is go, you can target it and target up. Okay, so you can see straight away. Uh, let me just quickly do something here so you can see it better. Let me go just for night mode a little bit. So you can see here, I'm playing with my lighting and you can just play around. It's not going to be as strong as this when you're doing your rendering. So just do a test rendering. Uh, okay. It's going to be much more soft, much more um, than this in here is quite rough sometimes. Uh, but when you actually do the rendering, the lighting is pretty soft. And after you have a focal point, you can just Alt Shift and you can uh, quickly just add this focal point to another. It's quite dark now. To another uh, tree that you have in your garden, in your project. Okay, let me just go here. Okay, so you can quickly have here some focal points. Of course, you will have a planting, uh, a lighting uh, plan detailing a bit more the actual uh, sites. But in here, you can do this atmospheric ambient uh, lighting that you really want to try to create and show that to your client. And the final one, it's really the rendering effects. Okay, 
So just a little bit comparing between Motion, really popular right now and because of the price as well, I think, and um, all the new things that they are coming up. Uh, it's an amazing software, but the effects in Lumion are something else. You don't need any other program uh, when it comes to Lumion because not only is great here, but you have this amazing amount of soft of effects that you can apply to your photos um, to make it really great uh, in the end. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to show you quickly here the, the, the effect. You have some setups, you have some like uh, nine. Um, let me show. I don't know for sure now. I think it's nine. Like um, pre done. No, um, eight. Uh, pre-done uh, um, more or less effects uh, than my Lumion team and they work great if you just want something really quick. Uh, normally I start by realistic and I have to modify it myself uh, because really depends where you are in the world, uh, the quality of the lighting, the sky you want, you know, if you want more this atmospheric lighting, etc. But after you have this amazing menu of effects that you can apply to your photos, okay? So you have from concepts, from architectural, uh, all this lighting, volumetric lighting, etc. Uh, sky, camera, some of them can be applied to photos only, others one can be applied to animations only, like when you're doing the videos animations. Okay, so you can see here not for photo, it's for uh, the animations of course. Artistic, the enhancements and um, some uh, tools like, for example, adding your logo, really cool stuff for watermarking your uh, renderings and things like this. You have an enormous amount of effects that you can apply really easy uh, to your all your renderings. And after you can just render the photo sets the, of your uh, project really quickly. OK, so this is my five reasons why Lumion. I think it's an amazing program for garden design and landscape architects. Let me know what you think. The only downside from Lumion, I think, is the entrance price. I think it's a bit steep for some, plus the PC um, requirements. Uh, but let me know what you think and what other programs you're using. Bye-bye, guys. See you in the next one.